Looking to cater into different parts of the market, Asus has unveiled their formula of taking on Samsung's dominance in Southeast Asia. Mabuhay Manila, you got Drew from ManilaShaker.com and join me in running down the Zenfone 3 family. We're taking away some key aspects like the skin-heavy Zen UI and Zen bulkware on top of Android Marshmallow which will impede performance on lower spec models. Zenfone 3 Max Starting off with the most affordable, the Zenfone 3 Max, this phone aims to keep you disconnected from your wall socket by providing 4,000 mAh of juice into the small frame. Additionally, it's the only one amongst its siblings with the capacity of reverse charging, meaning it can charge other phones through the proprietary micro USB to female USB A dongle. Don't be fooled, however, as this unit packs the most meager of specifications and may have trouble performing under duress, especially for graphic intensive apps and games. Being at the budget range at 8,995 pesos or about 200 US dollars, it's easy to understand why urban warriors would want in on this no frills power brick that does what it says, lasts you through the day. Or you can opt for the 5.5 version with slightly better specs overall at an unofficial estimated retail price of 12,995 pesos or about 270 US dollars. Perfect for the student or commuter that doesn't have time to tether himself or herself to a wall or power bank. The Zenfone 3 Laser Providing mobile snappers an easy option of going for a decent phone with focus on shooting capabilities, Asus added the Laser into the fray with just those features in mind. Included into its small package will be the 13 megapixel f2.0 main shooter at the back with laser autofocus, dual LED flash, among others. Images come out better than expected, though a little bit pale seen here, but it will serve as your reliable camera. Selfies on the 8 megapixel f2.0 front facing camera produce the same results in post processing for details. Available also are beautification modes from chin thinning to eye widening. It is unfortunate that the laser can only record at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Price at 11,995 pesos or about 250 US dollars, it's a very convincing buy for those who want to purchase a camera focused phone at budget price. Admittedly, specs could have been made better. Fit for the trigger happy photographer at heart. The Zenfone 3. Positioned at the mid-range price point, the Zenfone 3 ZE520 KL with the limited edition Moonlight White seen here is just begging to be your next smartphone. We were invited to test this baby out in the wild and boy does it perform. We took it out to test its capabilities from handling tasks to maximizing its shooting performance. We even got as far as taking a photo of the Galaxy on a clear night using its manual mode of course. It's a good buy especially considering how this phone can handle up to 4K resolution on video taking if that's a factor. This limited Zenfone 3 ZE 520KL Moonlight White Edition will set you back at a reasonable 14,400 pesos or about 300 US dollars. That does the job. Or you can opt for the Zenfone 3 ZE 550KL set at 18,500 pesos or about 370 US dollars. Both phones will do well for its specs and the price you get. The Zenfone 3 is well-balanced price and specs, fit for the average consumer. The Zenfone 3 Deluxe Placed at the top of the list, the Deluxe will be Asus contender for the flagship range. Packing in all the specifications of a contender and then some, the Zenfone 3 Deluxe will have everything you will need from a phone. It has good camera, great performance, and a solid build to boot. The 34,995 peso or 700 US dollar price tag might be too much for you but it comes with the latest and greatest of 2016. There will be a 44,995 peso version or 920 US dollars packing the Snapdragon 821 in tow for the ultra performance hungry. Reserved for those that require only the most powerful devices. Which of these phones fit you best? Let us know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at Ginuit. As always, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up as this tells us if you want to see more videos like this. Keep it locked in on manilashaker.com. Once again, this has been Drew. Mabuhay, Manila.